This is the Simulation Football Minor League on Twitch. Today we kick off Season 2 of the SFLM with the Birmingham Fuel versus the San Jose Flight. Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Falk and alongside me this afternoon is Chad Nevels, Mark Lopez and Benjamin Warner on stats and the Commissioner Cameron Irvine as the producer. Chad, it's a new season, which means new players, new coaches, and new expectations. Oh, most definitely, Tyler. We have a star-studded cast today with 14 players in this game ranking in the top five for their position, according to the Sim Scouts. Both these teams had losing records last year. The Fuel finishing at three and five, and the flight ending with a record of two and six. But both teams have a good crop of rookies that want to make a name for themselves. Oh yes, on one side of the ball, we have Will Todd for San Jose. 6'4", 240 as a tight end on the other. For Birmingham, we have Tom Krieg, 6'11", 210. So this should be a good matchup if these two meet down the field. And you can't leave out the second year man, Eric Gugger, who last year played for Lincoln, but now plays for the Birmingham Fuel. We are just about set to get season two of the SFLM underway as Birmingham will kick off to San Jose it's been 112 days since the end of season one, and here we go! Season two of the SFLM is underway as our turn man starts about the nine yard line, cuts up the middle, and will be tackled down at about the 28 yard line. Let's get you introduced to the San Jose Flight Offensive Stars. The QB, Colin Pierce. The halfback is Jimmy Hazard. There's two good wide receivers in Doug Spelling and Jeff Banfield. And the tight end star is Will Todd. Oh, most definitely. I'm expecting maybe, hopefully, that they'll, you know, get the run started early here for him. So let's see what goes on. They're going to come out with two tight ends near side and two wide receivers far side. Pierce is going to be back to pass. Throws it over to the near side, and it's in and out of the hands of the intended wide receiver. I'm pretty sure, you know, Tyler, that was just more nerves than anything for these rookies. You know that feeling you first step out on the field? You just got to work through that, shake it off, let it go. The Birmingham defense is led on the line by Tom Tanner. The inside linebacker, Josh Farnsey, patrols the middle of the field. Roger Law has the star cornerback, and there are two strong, two very strong safeties, Eric Duggar and Tom Krieg. Pierce is going to be in the shotgun now as he takes the ball, throws it deep down the near side, and it's dropped in and out of the hands of Doug Spelling. That was a good, you know, good route run by Doug Spelling there. Just even better coverage by the defense. You can't fault him for that whatsoever. That was a very good coverage. Looked to be law there on the coverage for Birmingham. Brings up third and 10. The flight are coming out in offset eye. Three receivers out in the package. Here's Pierce back to throw. Fires over the middle, and it's picked off! A pick by San Jose, and down to the 33. Oh, that was a great way to jump that route. Good pass, but he read the quarterback's eyes the whole way. That's, Eric, how, that's how you want to play. Eric Gugger showing his veteran-like experience, picks off the ball, and sets up the fuel in excellent field position. San Jose's got a great quarterback in uh, Colin Pierce, so let's see what he does. You know, rookie's first time out there. Pierce is going to go under center here with a strong eye behind him. Throws it near side and caught for a gain of about seven. That's Riley Quintero, the second-year man. Oh, uh, Quintero, that's a name that's been called, you know, since season one. Great, great receiver. Better pass from uh, Colin Pierce. Couldn't have a better play than that. Second and three now here for Birmingham as they look to get into the red zone. Heavy set in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff for Squarebush. Squarebush fights for the first down, and he will get it. Good hard nose running there from the tailback. Yeah, a great run by Squarebush, but you can't have a good run without good blocking. you got to give it to the San Jose's line and their running back Squarebush there to make that play happen the way it did. Let's quickly get you introduced to the rest of the Birmingham offense. 
Christian Brown is the quarterback. We already mentioned Randy Square Bush, the talented halfback. Charlemagne Cornelius is the number one rated halfback, or excuse me, fullback in the league. You have Tucker Warner, Riley Quintero at the wide receivers. It'll be a pass to Square Bush as he'll cut off the far side and get taken out of bounds after a gain of seven. Oh, great, great play by San Jose there. You know, the halfback pass, really good play to use. Square Bush showed that he's not only just a running back, but he can catch that ball. Uh, just to clarify, the quarterback for the Birmingham Fuel is Christian Brown. Christian Brown. And, and also to mention, the talented tight end, Stephen Walker, is also part of the Fuel offense. It's going to be another run to Square Bush, but this time he gets tackled in the backfield. Good play there by Devin King. Oh, Devin King, that's how you work as a linebacker right there. You want to get up in that hole. You want to stuff that run as fast as possible. Great play there by Devin King. Devin King, on ratings-wise, is rated number one overall amongst all linebackers. Look for him to make some plays this season. Be a five-wide set here for Birmingham. All five receivers out in the package as Brown back to pass. Fires over the middle. Cut! Runs up to about the three before he's taken down. There goes Tucker Warner for a nice pickup. Oh, great route run by Tucker Warner. You know, he found that open space in that zone and ball was placed right there on target can't do any better than that birmingham set up very nicely this drive is going swimmingly for them first and goal here for the fuel as square bush gets the handoff but is wrapped up in the backfield give credit to josh centenny and it looks like jeremy tomes there on the tackle tomes and centenny just blowing through that line what seemed like completely untouched to stuff that run that was a great defensive stop right there Flight need a good hold here. The defense already showing some very nice progress from last season. Fuel come out heavy set again. It's going to be another handoff to Square Bush. He fights for about a yard before he's taken down at about the five-yard line. Oh, another good defensive stop. This is what you want to see from your defense, you know, the first game that they can stand up and bend and hopefully not break here at the end. So, Third and goal. Can Birmingham hold the fuel to just three points. It'll be Brown with one man in the backfield. He's back to pass, scans the field, and he's sacked! Sacked for a loss of 10! There goes, oh, I thought it was Tom Taylor there, I got a little excited, but it looks like uh, Michael Maroney there on the tackle. Fourth and goal for the fuel. Maroney's first sack of the season, you know, he just, he came off that block, got rid of it, and was able to get to the quarterback. On to take the field goal is Ken Martin at the 20-yard line. Snap spot. The kick is up, and it is good. Birmingham lead here early in the first quarter, 3 to nothing. You got a good point there, you know, from Birmingham, but you got to give it to the defense for bending and not breaking and just giving up that three points. It was a great way to end that drive for them. The defense of the fight really made a really good stand there and really mitigated what was a turnover there by their offense. Oh, most definitely you couldn't ask for anything more out of your defense on that. Turner will start there at the 10 yard line, cuts up field, cuts near side and is blasted at about the 28 yard line. About to get the chance to see, you know, this offense again and let's see how this works for them. Maybe they, you know, they can move the ball down the field just a little better. San Jose looking to improve and forget what about happened on the last drive as they come out with four wide receivers and Jimmy Hazard in the backfield. So it will be a handoff to Hazard as he fights for about three yards before he's taken down by a host of flight. That was some pretty good blocking just to get, you know, and a good run to get maybe those few couple of yards. You got to give it to Hazard. I mean, he just kept his legs pumping, kept on moving that ball. Second and seven here for the flight. They come out in the weak eye with two tight ends near side. Pierce under center takes the pass. He's going to look far side, caught, and for a gain of about four there. Goes Jeff Banfield there on the catch. That was a good hookup between Pierce and Banfield. 
Uh, I probably let him just a little too much because it let him out of bounds, but, you know, take those yards as you can get them and just keep moving that ball. Third and three here for the flight, looking for a first down here. Pierce under center again. Weak guy in the backfield, three wide receivers out. It's a quick pass over the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended there for Jeff Banfield. Uh, just, you know, good route running. The pass was just a little in front of him. So, you know, that's, again, that's those nerves as a rookie. Just calm them down. You'll be fine. Just keep doing what you do out there as a quarterback. It's still young in this season. There is so much football to watch. And it looks like the flight are going to go ahead and punt this one away. Aaron Lynn, the punters, waits at about his 20-yard line. Receives the snap, and there's the punt. Good hang time on this punt, as looks like Birmingham will start at about the 28-yard line. Cuts up field and nearly breaks a tackle. Gets all the way to the 40-yard line. Let's get you introduced to the San Jose Flight defense. Gary Clem and Devin King are the stud linebackers. Josh Tenney, the cornerback and Monte Wyatt, the strong safety. Few will come out in a familiar heavy set here. One tight end far side and one wide receiver near side. Brown hands off to Square Bush, who's immediately wrapped up for a two yard loss. Wow, that seems just like, you know, he was right there in the backfield before the ball even, even was snapped. I've, that was a great jump of the play right there. Field quickly to the line now, back in shotgun. Two backs on either side of Brown and three wide receivers out in the package. Brown takes a snap, it's a pass quick, but that pass is intercepted! What a play from the San Jose defense, and they get the ball back. Man, again, this defense, Jeff Goodwin and all them, they're just, for some reason, they're able to read those quarterbacks' eyes, jump that pass. Oof. As a, as a former defensive guy myself, you know, that just gets my blood pumping to see those kind of plays. Fantastic play there from the San Jose decent defense. Sets the, them up in fantastic field position. They're on the 37-yard line here at Birmingham. And there's an eye formation here for Pierce to go and throw. Fires it deep down on the far side. It's caught, and he gone! Forget about it! Look at that touchdown flight! Wow, what a route run by Todd there. I mean, it was beautiful. Pierce threw a great pass. You couldn't ask for more. Six points. It turned into a foot race once the ball was caught. Will Todd thought he was snubbed earlier this week when they didn't even put him on the top 30 prospects. And look at him prove the doubters wrong. Kicker today is the only draftable kicker this year so far. It's Jack Lewis on to take the extra point. There's the snap, the hold. The kick is up, and it is good. San Jose take the lead, 7-3. to three. That was a good drive by San Jose that, that, that time. So let's see if Birmingham can come back and answer. First five minutes of the game have been really good stout defensive play. Two interceptions, one for each team here. Defensive Defenses have shown up this game, so they're here to play today. Now Birmingham, they'll have a chance to answer here as they'll start from the 10, work their way near side, cuts up the field to the 30-yard line. A good run back there by Elvis Lacoste. Very good run back by Elvis Lacoste. I mean, you... From where he started, couldn't ask for anything more out of him on that one. Check that. That's Frederick Vernon, the wide receiver. My apologies. Oh, was it? I yep. apologize. <laughs> I led you the wrong way. Anywho, first and 10 here for the Birmingham Fuel offense. They're on their own 30. Set up, and again, another heavy set with three running backs there in the backfield. It's a handoff to Square Bush up the middle who fights for about five yards. Credit the tackle there to Justin Wayne. Oh, 
great run, great run by uh, Square Bush there. I mean, his offensive line helped him out. They opened a hole you could have drove a truck through, and he took took that chance and went with it. Second and five now here for Birmingham. Heavy eye formation, strong eye formation with two tight ends far side. They go to Square Bush. He's on the right side. Tries to take a brackle, tackle at the 45, but that's where he's brought down. Good run. Good 10-yard run there from Square Bush. Oh, great 10-yard run, but, you know, he almost, if he could have just beat that last guy, great open tackle, but an even better run. Blockers, the two tight ends there on the outside, really set the edge and really got Square Bush upfield. First and 10 now for the Birmingham Fuel at their own 45 yard line. Come out with four wide receivers, three far side, and they're going to go over the middle. Ball is tipped up and batted in the air, and that'll fall incomplete, and Fuel go to the hurry up. Wow, that was, that was great defensive play there on the coverage. I mean, he was right there. It's Brown back to pass again. They try the same play over the middle, and that one's going to fall incomplete. And here come Birmingham Fuel again on the hurry up. I'd be surprised if they went to the same play three times in a row. I mean, at some point, you got to stop that. We'll have to see. They go over the middle, and it's deflected. Good play there from the flight defense, and it's fourth down. Great play by the flight defense there on the coverage, but, you know, sometimes it seemed like Birmingham went to that slant one too many times. And you just can't do that. Even in, you know, with the rookies, people pick up on that kind of stuff. Credit the deflection to the stout linebacker, Gary Clem, there in coverage. Had a strong first season, and he looks to add on to it here as the fuel look to punt it away. Punter is Taylor Benjamin, who gets the bat ball away before he is blocked. And here comes the flight starting at the own 16 and he won't get any further all the way up to the 18 yard line it was a great punt there you know almost got blocked but he was able to get it off in time san jose looked to add on to the touchdown they had last drive with another strong performance here's pierce under center, two tight ends far side as he's back to pass. Throws it over the middle, and it's dropped in and out of the hands. Good coverage there from the defense. Yeah, great coverage by the defense. Uh, it just kind of went in and out of Todd's hand when he got hit. Just, you know, you got to secure that ball. But other than that, great play. As we saw earlier with his big touchdown reception, he's not going to drop too many of those passes. Look for uh, Pierce to find him again soon. Oh, most definitely. That's probably going to be his one of his main targets today. Split backs in the backfield here for the flight. Three wide right receivers, two far side, one near side. It's going to be a handoff up the middle, but he won't get anywhere. Good stop there by the defense, and it's third and ten. Great stop by the defense. Uh, you know, San Jose, I understand what they're trying to do. You've got to get that run started, too, because you can't just be a one-dimensional team in, in the SFL minors because that will come back to bite you. Great play by the defense, though. Great play by Tom. Excuse me. Josh Farnsey there on the stop as Pierce looks back to throw over the middle into double coverage and that ball is deflected away solid coverage there from the fuel and it's fourth down oh just tried to fit that ball into that little window and it just didn't happen that looked like it was Josh uh, Farnsey again uh as a matter of fact he is ranked in the top five for his position as well in this game so he's got some solid potential for all these scouts that are here watching this game, keeping an eye on Josh Farnsey this year. Punts away, and they'll start with a turn there on the 46-yard line. Brings it all the way up to about midfield before he's finally taken down. Let's do this. The second season of the SFL minor league is underway, but it's not too late to build a player, get on a team, and start progressing in preparation for the next SFL rookie draft this December. Visit www.simulationfl.net to join our Discord server and get on the field. Contact Deputy Commissioner Andrew Rustelli on Discord after visiting the Get Started channel if you have further questions, and we'll see you soon 
as the pass there gets about two yards. And Devin King there on the stop. Oh, Devin King, that was a great play by him. You know, he saw that route come and he was able to get there. He's already got two ta or three tackles and once for a loss. Great, great player in Devin King. So I'm taking now to about three minutes here left in the first quarter as Brown goes empty set, fires over the middle, and it's caught for a good gain of about seven. So check that. Good game, about four yards. Sets up third and three. Yeah, great four-yard uh, crossing route there. Found that little open hole in the defense, placed it right on the spot. Third and three. Will we see another performance from the San Jose Flight defense? They've been good all game so far. Brown finds it deep down the near side. Caught! And he's going to break a tackle. There goes Quinto! And it's a touchdown for the Fuel! Wow, what a hookup between Brown and Quintero. Brown's showing that arm that he can put it down the field. Oh, beautiful, beautiful pass there. Even better route run by Wiley, Riley Quintero. A great, great six-point play right there. Quintero only had two touchdowns last season, but he gets on the board right away to start his campaign here in Season 2. Showing that he's just going to build on last season. Great. The offseason progression for all the returning players here to the SFLM has been fantastic. And Contreras really showing why he deserves to be on a team next season in oh, the most, SFL. Most definitely there. That, that progression has helped these guys a lot. Field goal is up and good there from Martin. It is 10-7. Birmingham retake the lead. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Tyler Falk. Alongside of me is Chad Nevels, Mark Lopez, and Benjamin Warner on stats. And the commissioner, Cameron Irvine, is our producer this afternoon. Turn starts at about the nine-yard line. Brings it up to about the 27-yard line before he's ultimately taken down. Getting ready for Colin Pierce to lead this team back out on the field. Right now, he is two for eight with 41 yards. So let's see if he can build on that. Flight really looking to answer the fuel here and get back on the board and get back in front as the flight looked to be in the heavy set. Three running backs in the backfield. It said Pierce will throw over to the far side and is caught and gets a gain of about two yard line. Two yards, wow. That was a good little uh, halfback pass there. Or excuse me, that wasn't a halfback, was it? Oh, it was a great little out route pass though, for two yards. I mean, first down, couldn't expect anything more. That was to the fullback, Brandon, Brandon Bandit. Try saying that three times fast as the flight <laughs> go back to the heavy set. And they're gonna hand off this time to Hazard. Cuts field, makes a nice little spin move and picks up about three. And it's gonna be third and six here for the flight. Yeah, Hazard rounded that corner, and Law was right there waiting on him. Uh, good run by Hazard. Great open field tackle, tackle by Law there, too. Birmingham defense look to stop the flight here on this drive. Force a three and out. Flight have a lot of other ideas. Pert, Pierce back to throw. Over the middle, it's caught for first down yardage and more. Good pitch and catch there from Pierce. Gets the flight there first down. Wow, what can you say about this San Jose offense right now? Pierce is finding those little, hole, little holes in the defensive coverage and just placing the ball right there for his receivers. He is not showing the nerves of a rookie quarterback right now. First and 10 here from the San Jose 43. Pierce back to throw again. It's going to be a dump off there to Hazard, who cuts up field, but he's going to be stopped in the backfield by a bunch of flight. Or excuse me, bunch of fuel. We'll get these right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just seemed like, you know, uh, the fuel saw the play coming and they just swarmed to the ball. Not much you can do right there. Flight again come out in the heavy set. Here's hands off to Hazard, and he's met immediately in the backfield. It's third and 11. Good stop there from Cole. 
great stop by Cole. He just kind of blew through that gap in the line and was waiting for him when he got there. Another third I, down upcoming for the flight. Yeah, I figured they're going to have to go for a pass here, Tyler. I would, I would tend to agree with you here in this case. Four wide receivers. It looks to be a passing formation. Indeed, they will. Pierce fires short. Caught. But he's taken down there after a gain of about four. And that's the end of the first quarter. The Birmingham Fuel lead 10 to 7 here. And this is the Simulation Football Minor League on Twitch. If you're just joining us, welcome back and welcome to all of you there and on Twitch. It's the Birmingham Fuel taking on the San Jose Flight. And it looks like the flight will be punting the ball away here to start the second quarter. Turn starts at about the 17-yard line, but he will be stopped at the 20-yard line. That was a great open field tackle right there. I mean, immediately hit him as soon as he caught the ball. If you're new to this simulation football league, you're watching the first controls eSport where strategy and AI instead of thumbs determines outcome. Teams submitted game plans prior to the simulation and the results play out live in real time with hundreds of viewers turned players, scouts, coaches, and team owners on the field to create an all kind, all new kind of virtual reality. As Brown, the pocket collapses in him and he's brought down for the sack. Oh, great coverage downfield is what helped that sack. Uh, Justin Wayne getting in there through all, as you can see in the replay, threw that block off and was right there on top of Brown before he even saw it coming. The pocket almost disintegrated with all that pressure. Really good push there from the flight defensive line as Brown and the fuel come out in a four wide set here in the shotgun. Brown back to pass, looks over the middle, it's caught with room to run. There goes Riley Quintero, give him a gain of 17. There goes that hookup between Brown and Quintero again. You got to watch that one because they're able to find they're finding those holes right now in the San Jose defense. Bradley Quintero unofficially uh, three uh, three receptions for about seventy eight yards. As they fuel will come out four wide again, one tight end far side. Brown back to pass, fires over the far side, and this pass is going to be deflected and incomplete as the fuel will go back to the hurry-up offense. Yeah, that pass was thrown just a little bit under. Could have been a little higher. I'm pretty sure he would have had that one. Brown back to pass again. Scans the middle of the field. Will fire down the middle field. It's caught. There's Quintero again, and here comes the fuel. There, That's going to probably be his target for the day. You're going to see it more and more, Brown and Quintero hooking up, running down this field. Brown gets up to the line, staying in the four wide receiver set. Again, scans the field, fire, fires far side, and it's caught. And after a gain of seven, check that five, he's brought down. That was a good pass to your tight end right there. You know, what was that, about five yards? Great pass. Brown back to pass again, fires far side, and that one was nearly intercepted. Credit Justin Tenney there in the coverage, and the fuel are back to the hurry up again. Great coverage by Centennial. He just it popped out of his hands. Third and five. Fuel need to convert here. There's pressure coming, but his far side gets it off. Caught. First down, Stephen Walker, the tight end. Nerves of steel on Brown right there to see the pressure coming and still get the ball off to uh, Walker, his tight end. This drive has been going very well for the fuel. They're motoring down, pardon the pun, all the way down this field. As the fuel look to be in a bunch set near side. They have Square Bush in the backfield as they will go to the pass again. Brown fires over the middle, it's caught. And it's gonna be for about a gain of seven yards. Good pitch and catch there from the fuel. Oh, great little pitch and catch play there. I mean, that just continues to help them march down closer and closer to this end zone. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if San Jose is going to set up for the pass, so Birmingham may want to try to try a run play here pretty soon on this. Two tight ends near side 
offset eye behind him as they go back to square bush. Who runs into the end zone? Touchdown, Birmingham! Great run by Randy Squarebush. Great blocking. He found the hole that his lineman blocked for. And like I said, San Jose had set up for that pass. Birmingham went with a run, and that's all she wrote there, folks. A good push from the offensive line gives the Fuel an extended lead as they look to make it 17-7 to here. Snap spot. Kick is up, and it is good. Birmingham 17, San Jose 7 here midway through the second quarter. It's been a great game so so far, Tyler. Let's see if San Jose can get back into this. They've had a, a few good drives that have come up short, so we'll see what they do this time. The nine-play, 80-yard drive from the field gets them seven. As here we go again. Flight starting at about the nine yard line takes it up field, takes it far side, and he'll be stopped at about the 25 yard line. Yeah, San Jose is going to have to get their run game with Jimmy Hazard started because it just hadn't really been there much this game so far. So if they can get that started, I'm, I'm sure that'll help them get back into this game more. It's still early, but. Four attempts for five yards is not the stat line you want to end with, but if I know Hazard, he'll be wanting to get some more yards and more touches here soon. As they will look to go up the middle, that's the fullback goes up the middle and for a gain of about seven. It's a good run by the fuel fullback. Uh, great blocking by the line. That's that run game that they, you know, they really need to start getting, start starting to get going. This one with a very nice second and three. A very nice manual yardage to deal with here for Colin Pierce. He's under center with two wide receivers near side, one far side. And he'll look to hand it off to Hazard, who gets some nice yardage there, who pushes forward for about seven yards. That's what Hazard's wanting to do right there, you know. Keep pushing those feet when you're running there, young man, and you'll get there. But you're averaging, he's averaging 3.3 yards per carry, so... He's slowly getting there. First and 10 here for the flight on their own 40 yard line. Look to go back to the same formation. One tight end near side, two wide receiver near side. And they will hand off again to Hazard, but this time he'll only pick up about two. Credit the tackle there to Mr. Wow, check that. I have <laughs> – check that. That's Josh Farnsey there on the tackle making another good play. Yeah, Josh Farnsey again. Uh, he's proven why he's one of the top linebackers in this league, and that was a uh, good run by Hazard too, so. Flight will go back to Hazard as he'll run to the near side, picks up a gain of about two before he's eventually stopped there. Uh, Hazard's giving it everything he can right now. Just the run game for San Jose is not working out. They're going to have to go with the pass this, this time. I mean, there's just no way you can get around that. Third and six here for the flight. Birmingham have been very stout on defense today. What can Pierce say to that? Pierce fires near side, and that's incomplete. A good stop for the Birmingham Fuel, and it's fourth down. Great coverage by the defense there, you know. Couldn't ask for any better coverage. As San Jose looks to punt this away, let's talk about the SFL playoffs. Don't miss them this fall, starting with the Wild Card Weekend this Sunday, October 11th, at 4.30 for, excuse me, check that, at 2.30 p.m. Eastern for a triple header on 11 sports and for the fans. How can you watch the games live? Visit www.simulationfootball.net and read the Where to Watch News post to see if you have the channel on your smart TV with your cable slash satellite provider or download the For the Fans app on your Android or iPhone today. So let's see if the first, let's see if they come out, Birmingham comes out with that Brown to Quintero hookup right here on the first play and see what happens. An 
an empty set here for the fuel here on first and 10. Brown back to pass as a short drop, fires over the far side, caught, and for a gain of about five goes the fuel. Good pitch and catch. It seemed like the defense, you know, was getting ready. They fell back to cover Quintero and just left that area of the field unguarded. Right. Wide open pass, easy as can be. Credit Randy Squarebush there on the completion there. Got him playing in a wide receiver slot now. And said so this time they'll go bunch bunch set far side with Squarebush there in the backfield. As Brown looks to pass, will dump it out to Squarebush, who cuts up field, gets the first down and more. A good pitch and catch there from Brown to Squarebush. Sets up first and down here for the fuel. Great pass by Brown to Squarebush there. It just it's kind of a replay of the last play they did, and it worked out perfectly. San Jose is just going to have to remember that Square Bush is back there, so they're going to need to keep an eye on him for the rest of this game, too. Brown is 13 of 19 for 176 yards here already in the first half. An amazing stat line for sure. Brown this time will hand off to Square Bush, who cuts far side, picks up a good gain of a five. Credit the tackle there to Gary Clem. So far, it seems to be the uh, Square Bush show going on on this drive. That was great blocking on the end of the line. That just opened Square Bush up, and he was able to get those five yards. Great running. Second and five here for the fuel. Five wide receivers out there in the package. It's going to be a pass over the middle to Contero, and he's got another one. Riley Quintero gets all the way down to the 44. Yeah, San Jose made that, you know, adjustment to cover square bush and left Quintero open right in the middle of the field, and Brown found his favorite target again. That gives Brown uh, 195 so far this half. Great stat line. Great. If I were betting, man, I'd say Brown gets over 200 yards here in the first half. And it's... Not I, I would agree with you. Brown goes back to pass. He wants that 200 yards right now. Pass off to Squarebush, who runs out of bounds after a gain of three. Yep, they drop back, you know, to cover that deep pass to keep Quintero on them, you know, in check. And there's Squarebush, like normal, on that little dump, dump right out there on the edge. As far as ratings go, uh, officially... Christian Brown isn't uh, rated too highly up there, but he is really showing why he deserves more recognition. Oh, most definitely. A deep drop here for Brown. Scans the near side of the field, and it's caught. And it's going to be the other wide receiver, Tucker Warner, there on the catch. You got a great, great uh, route run by Tucker Warner. Great pass by Christian Brown. Uh, that'll be... Tucker Warner's actual second reception of this game, so that gives him 28 yards so far. Tucker Warner says, I can catch some passes too, Brown. Throw the ball my way. As Brown's going to go back to pass again, he's going to dump it out to the fullback, who will be immediately rappled for a loss of two. Yeah, it seemed like that pass was kind of just passed a little bit behind the fullback, so he didn't get that head of steam he needed to you know, keep running forward, and the uh, flight was just there waiting on him. Credit Josh Centeni there on the stop. Good play from him. As the fuel will go empty set again. Brown, two-step drop, fires on the middle for... For Warner, but it's picked off. Going the other way now is the flight, and the flight take over. Oh, that was a great interception by uh, Monte Wyatt there as a strong safety. He read that play. And I'll give you a little tip as to why I think he did. Monte Wyatt actually played for two arena football teams, played D2 college, and was also at the mini camp for the dog pound in Cleveland. That play, it looked like he knew exactly where that pass was going and just ran right to the spot. Good play from him. I'm sure his experience helped with that. Flight will take over here on their own 31. Offset eye behind Pierce as he'll hand off to Hazard, who gets a good gain of about one. 
or is it taken down there? San Jose still trying to get that run game going. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's still kind of, I wouldn't say early, it's more mid part of the game, but they, they're they going to get that going at some point, Tyler, and I'm pretty sure it's going to make a big game difference. We're quickly approaching the two-minute warning here as it's second and nine here for the flight. Offset eye behind Pierce. He'll go back to Hazard, who cuts up the middle for a gain of four, and they're going to try and go to the hurry up and try and beat the two-minute warning. Uh, they might be able to get this one off. We'll see. Pierce hands off again to Hazard, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. The fuel hold the flight to no gain as we hit the two-minute warning here. This is the Simulation Football Minor League on Twitch. Welcome back to Birmingham versus the San Jose Flight. As it's fourth and five here in San Jose, are going to pump this one away. Like Vermin's going to stand at his own 25 and only pick up about two yard line, two yards there. Yeah, I think he picked up the two yards there after he got hit because he got hit hard on that one, kind of spun him around a little bit. We'll see Birmingham's two-minute offense come out on the field now. Let's see what they have planned. They've been on that gas pedal since the word go today, so let's see if they stay on it. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. Brown back in the gun, fires far side, it's caught. Riley Quintero picks up about two, and that's where he'll be stopped. Another great catch by that combination of uh, Quintero and Brown. Uh, they're planning on putting on some more points. They might want to hurry this little drive up a little, so we'll see. You will come out with an offset back there. Two tight ends near side and Warner and Quintero far side. Brown back to pass, going to dump it out to Square Bush, who picks up about three before he's wrapped up by a couple of flight. And now they're going to go to the hurry up, Chad. Now I figured at some point they'd hit that hurry up offense with, you know, Quintero and. Oh going to be a handoff here to Square Bush, but he won't get the first down. A great play by the San Jose defense forces a fourth down. San Jose stepped up on that run. I'll be honest, I'm surprised they were waiting on it. Being with two minutes, I, I thought they'd be set up for the pass myself. That kind of surprised me. Great and who play. Else, and who else led the charge there for the San Jose flight? None other than the inside linebacker, Gary Clem. A good performance so far for him today. Looks like they're going to run the clock down to about one second, so on the play clock. Indeed they do, and the punt's away here. Turn starts at about the 29, but that's about it. Absolutely nothing doing there on the return. Here's where the, you know, the strategy comes in as a uh, head coach. Do you, you know, you're coming down the last 12 seconds. Do you just run the clock out, you know, hope? for the second half to be better when you make those adjustments or do you go for that long ball and you know risk an interception and a return here? Two wide receivers in the formation here for the flight. They will go to the pass. Fires far side and that one's nearly picked off. Good coverage there from Josh Farnsey. <sighs> Josh Farnsey throwing again while he's one of the top rated linebackers in the league. Jumped that route real fast and that was that pass I was I was talking about, you know, you risk it, and it that almost ended up as a pick six there, Tyler. Eight seconds left to go here in the first half. Flight come out in a heavy set. Three running backs there in the backfield. Probably looking to run this clock out and get into the locker room for the halftime. Check that. They're going to go for a pass to be a dump out of the fullback, and he will get knocked out of bounds after a gain of two. 
It's a good little pass there to the fullback. Uh, you know, you got three seconds left here as the flight. I, th I guess they're probably going to go a Hail Mary. We'll see. Three seconds left here in the first half. Third and eight. Looks like they're going to come out in a four-wide set. They have to go deep down the field here. Instead, they'll hand it off. Up the middle goes Hazard, and he'll get stopped. And that will go will take us to halftime. Birmingham are up 17 to seven, and it's been all the Christian Brown and Riley Quintero show so far. Oh, most definitely those two have put on a show today. We'll see if they continue in the second half. We take a look at some of the replays and stats here from that first half. Well, I, I thought I would see Christian Brown go for 200 yards already. Unofficially, that's 214 yards from him with a 73.1 pass completion percentage. And on the other side of the ball, you know, you have uh, Colin Pierce. He's 7 for 15 with 56 yards. So it's a big difference in the stat, stat line there for these two teams. And it, this, we might be talking about Christian Brown and Riley Quintero, but these defenses have really been stymie, especially Birmingham's. Oh, most definitely. You have uh, Josh, who is who's got uh, four tackles, one assist, one you know one tackle for loss. Tom Krieg, one tackle, one assist. I mean, these, this Birmingham defense is here to play today, and they're they're a real big reason why they have the lead right now. Will Todd, uh, the stud tight end there for San Jose, has got his first touchdown of his career. And I think the San Jose flight really need to work him more into the game plan if they want to get back into this. Oh, most definitely. He started out as uh, Pierce's main target, and they've just kind of gone away from that. So I, I do feel like they need to bring him back more into this game plan come the second half of this game. And that one... that two targets but one reception that one reception being his 37 yard scamper to the house for a touchdown so if if nothing else they have to go his way uh but three interceptions on the day uh for both combined for both defenses two for birmingham one for san jose yeah that one for san jose well uh, again was by monte watt but let's not leave out you know josh centini who has four tackles Two, ta two of those are for a loss. And Devin King also has two tackles and two assists. So the San Jose defense has been doing pretty good too. That's why they've been able to keep Birmingham under 21 points so far. It looks started to get ready here for the second half. I'm Tyler Falk alongside me. is Chad Nevels with Mark Lopez and Benjamin Warner doing stats today. And Cameron Irvine, the SFL commissioner is our producer as the return there gets about 23, up to about the 25 yard line. And that is where Birmingham will start the second half. Let's see if Birmingham, you know, stays conservative and runs the ball, or if they try to surprise, you know, the San Jose defense here with a long pass down the field. Brown looking to add even more yards to his total right away as they come out four wide. Brown back to pass, scans the field, fires over the middle deep and it's caught. Good catch from Riley Quintero. There he is again. Wally Quintero showing, you know, why he is the, what, personally, the top wide receiver in the SFLM right now. Great route running by him. Great catch. Great hookup from Brown. First and 10 here for the Fuel on their own 45-yard line after that nice pickup from Quintero. They come out eye formation with three wide receivers. Brown back to pass again. Fires far side, caught. Looking for more yards. There is Tucker Warner who picks up about five. That's Tucker Warner. That's going to give him another target. Another, you know, Tucker Warner's a great receiver too. Don't take anything away from him. That uh, should give him about unofficially 33 yards this game so second and five here for the fuel heavy set three running backs there in the backfield handoff up the middle goes 
Square Bush, and he will get the first down in a few extra yards. Good running there from Square Bush. Oh, yeah. Square Bush being able to find those blocks by his uh, lineman downfield. And you can just watch him as he zigs in and out of that defense up past the uh, second level of that defense, actually. First and 10 now for the flight uh, in San Jose territory. Looking to add more points to their score already. Looks like it's going to be a free play. Brown dumps it off there to Square Bush, who runs out of bounds and more than likely going to be encroachment on the defense. Hey, it looked like uh, one of the defensive linemen jumped. I couldn't tell which one. Let's see what R62 says. Indeed, it will be a penalty there on San Jose, and that's going to set up first and five for Birmingham. You know, minor leagues on the field for the first time, those nerves just got to him. You got to calm those down, and you can't have those kind of mistakes this, this late in the game. Like you said, again, here for the fuel, the square bush gets the call but it'll be wrapped up in the backfield. Good push there from the defensive line of San Jose. Yeah, that was the outside linebacker, Devin King, coming in untouched. That's going to give him another tackle for loss on, on the day. So he's showing why he's, you know, a great, great lineman to keep an out, or linebacker to keep an out, excuse me. Another penalty here. Let's see what the call is from R62. Be a full start there on the fuel, and that'll set him back a little bit. Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of mistakes right there, Tyler, that can just, you know, kill a drive real quick. Those false start penalties, you just, you can't have those in a game whatsoever. Be second and 12 here as the fuel come out five wide. Brown back to pass. This guy's in the middle, has to have made the pressure, but can't. He is sacked in the backfield. Good tackle there by Troy Almer. Yeah, great, great play by Troy Almer. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign there. Doesn't look like Troy's getting up. That's very unfortunate there. Makes a great play, but gets injured on the play. We we send him our best wishes and hopefully he can return to the field as quickly as possible. Third and 18 here for the fuel. The San Jose defense wants to get a stop here so that they can get back on the offense and catch up to the fuel. Another five wide set here for the fuel. Brown box to some signals. Looks deep down the middle, scanning, scanning, nearly inter nearly sacked. Over the middle, it's tipped and incomplete. Very nice coverage for the flight, and it's fourth down. Monte Wyatt, the strong safety on, there on the coverage. There's Monte Wyatt again with that experience that he brought into the SFL. Great coverage by him. Um, again, though, Brown showed that he had nerves of steel standing in that pocket with that lineman bearing down on him, getting that ball off. Let's see the Fuel Special Teams unit. It's going to be a fair catch call for it about the 12, check that 14-yard line, and that is where the flight will take over. Download Crown Play, our new partner for 2020, and play the game about the game. Follow the action and answer questions for a chance to win a share of the $1,000 prize pool. Your next chance to win is Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern when the Houston Hyenas travel to face the Jacksonville Kings. Visit crowdplay.com for more information. First and 10 here for the flight on their own 14. It'll be a handoff to Hazard. Cuts over near side and gets a gain of about two. That was a great that was a great run by Hazard. He saw that saw that uh <clears throat> defensive player coming, spun him, kept going, but they're just still not able to get the yards they need to get for that run game. And if it hadn't been for Tom Krieg, who knows where he would have gone. Oh, I'm pretty sure it would have been a foot race to the end zone from there. 
Second and eight now here for the fly. It's going to be a dump off there to Hazard, who gets right back to the line of scrimmage. It's third and ten. That's just another one of those plays, you know, that you've run, and it just it just blows up, and there's nothing you can do about it. Great play by the defense. They were there waiting on it coverage-wise. So. Third and ten now for the flight. They come out with four wide receivers. Pierce, five-step drop. Scans the field and almost finds his intended target, but that is going to be deflected and incomplete. Fourth down upcoming. Yeah, that was a jumped route right there by the defense. They saw, you know, that he was going for the tight end, Will Todd, there to try to get him back in the game, and they were just able to knock it down. Punter Aaron Lynn is going to stand in his own end zone here to receive the, receive the punt. Gets it away nicely, and Vernon will start to return at his own 48, but only makes it up to about the 50-yard line. So let's, Christian Brown's going to be leading his team back out for another drive. But right now he's sitting at 21, uh, 21 of 29 passes completed. He actually has 235 yards right now. I get the feeling he might hit 300. We'll see. Brown under center. I formation for the fuel. Brown, two-step drop, fires near side, caught. And goes out of bounds is Riley Quintero. Wow. This is <laughs> this has been the Riley Quintero show as far as the receivers go. But, I mean, Birmingham's got an amazing receiving core here between Quintero and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Tucker Walker. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, Tucker Warner. Forgive me on that one. Sure, Armour looks like he'll be out for the rest of the game. That's not a good sign there for the flight as the fuel will hand off there to Squarebush and who gets right back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, upcoming here for the fuel. There's a San Jose defense stepping up. Devin King, another great uh, linebacker in this uh, rookie class coming up this season. So I look forward to seeing how he does the rest of the year. Empty set here for the fuel, looking to convert here on third down. Deep pass down the far side, and that's knocked up in the air and incomplete. Good pass coverage there from the flight. Oh, yeah, great pass coverage there by uh, by the flight's cornerback. Uh, it's a good ball thrown by Brown, too, so I'm not going to take that away from him. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to that defense. been kind of a back and forth game Tyler here in the second half so let's see if somebody can break that for us look forward to seeing what San Jose can do on this next drive but first they got to receive the punt as Taylor Benjamin will stand at about his 41 yard line to receive the punt pressure coming here from the flight but he gets it off in time they're going to let this one bounce inside the 10 and stopped at the... They're going to say he ran into the end zone. Oh, it's going to oh, be a no. touchback. Oh, you got to stop before you cross that line there in the end zone. Uh, that would have been a great punt. Probably would have been stopped at the five. So instead of being pinned all the way back in their own red zone, the flight are going to start around their own 20. Spelling and Banfield near side. Those are the wide receivers. Two tight ends far side. Is they're going to hand off the hazard. Who goes near, near? Check that far side and picks up about one yard there on the play. Good coverage there from Josh Farnsey. Josh Farnsey again making the play. Uh, you know, Hazard just hadn't had the game that he wanted. He's trying to do what he can. So we'll see if he can build more on this as the game goes along. Be another handoff there to Hazard. Has a hole and cuts up to about the sticks, but he's tackled one yard short. Yeah, those plays right there show you that Hazard does have the skills to break those kind of runs. 
I'm pretty sure if he had just a few more blocks, he'd have probably been able to break that one. Be third, about one yard here for the flight. Can they convert here on this third down? I get the feeling this is probably fixing to be a run. They do line up and have you set three running backs there in the backfield. They'll hand off the hazard. Stumbles trying to get oh, fights for extra yardage and will get the first down. Yeah, great run by Hazard. That just shows, you know, you keep your legs pumping as a running back. Great things will come. That actually gives Hazard 38 yards on the day so far. So That's the first third down that San Jose has converted all game. As Pierce will be backed in the gun. Fires near side. Caught. And it's going to be right at the sticks. They're going to mark him just short. Good play there from the flight. Oh, great play by Jeff Banfield there, the wide receiver. Uh, great route run. That was a good pass by Pierce. I'm pretty. I'm not sure he didn't might, you know, have gotten across that first down marker. No challenge yet, so Flight are content to play the ball as it lies as they'll set up in an offset eye behind Pierce with three wide receivers out in the formation. Pierce hands off to Hazard. Fights for the first down, and he'll get it. Good power running there from the flight. Great run by Hazard. I mean, again, he's he seems to be one of those tough-nosed running backs that no matter how many times he gets stopped, he's going to come back. Drive going a lot better than previous drives for the flight. So they come out in eye formation. Fires over to Hazard. Hazard cuts up field, makes a nice spin move and gets about three yards there on the play. Hazard showing he can catch the ball, too. I mean, in, in this league, you kind of got to be a two-dimensional running back, it seems like nowadays. So we'll see if they can continue to go to him as a receiver, too. Pierce goes under center here. Three wide receivers out in the package. Floats it. Far side, and that one's picked off. Going the other way is the Fuel, and the Fuel take over. Yeah, it seemed that one, you know, kind of got away from him and floated just a little too long, and uh, just, you know, Eric Duggar jumped, was able to jump it, high-pointed the ball, and came back with the interception. Good play there from the Fuel, sets them up about midfield make it the 47 yard line and that is where christian brown will take his offense on the field four wide receivers three in a bunch set near side brown back to pass is a two-step drop floats it over to square bush who gets about one yard there on the pickup yeah it was a great pass to square bush i think maybe on that play he just kind of lost sighting of where he was and you know just the edge of the foot may have stepped out of bounds causing the play to come to an end but it would have been a good good play. Birmingham now. Second and nine for them. Brown back in the gun. Squarebush and the fullback alongside. Brown, five-step drop. Floats it out for the fullback. It gets up about four yards. Yeah, that was a great catch, you know, and a great route run by there by uh, Cornelius, the fullback. That's actually going to be his first reception, I think, on this on this young season. Or no, second reception, excuse me, on this young season. So, Third and five now for the fuel. Eye formation with two wide receivers near side. Brown back to pass. Floats it over to Square Bush. He's got the first down or close to. They will give him the first down. And what a pitch and catch there from bound to Square Bush. Square Bush, great route run, run there. Another good pass by Brown. I mean, this Birmingham team on offense has weapons all over the place that they can use. So you just you gotta you gotta be ready and be able to watch all of them. Two wide receivers, two tight ends, and one running back here in the formation. Over the middle, pass from Brown is caught by Stephen Walker. 
Yeah, Stephen Walker, you know, big tight end. That's going to be, you know, his second catch. It looked like a little, uh, maybe a comeback route. Good play by him. I think the few are trying to catch San Jose on their on their heels here with all these short plays. I think they are. I think they're going to suck them in, and then Quint you're going to see Quintero down the field. Just like that, Brown there. to Quintero. He gone. Forget about it. Riley Quintero with his second touchdown of the day. And there it was. You know, they, they sucked him in on those short passes, and then Quintero down the field with that long pass. That's actually going to bring, you know, Quintero's yardage to 190 so far in the game, and Brown's yards are going to be 294 unofficially as of now. Riley Quintero, in his first game of this season, has the exact same number of touchdowns this season that he had all last season. What improvement and what progression there from Riley Quintero? Oh, yeah, it seems like a completely different player. He did a lot of work in the offseason. Great, great plays. Ken Martin not here now to attempt the extra point. Snap spot. Kick is up, and it is good. Birmingham are rolling 24-7. to seven. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday afternoon. I'm Tyler Falk along Chad Nevels. Mark Lopez and Benjamin Warner are the statisticians, and the SFL commissioner is our producer, Cameron Irvine. Turn starts about the nine-yard line, cuts up field, tries to shake and bake, but he'll be stopped at about the 29-yard line. Yeah, Tyler, this hadn't really been the game that the, you know, the flight had hoped for. They they need to try to maybe get. I'm thinking maybe Doug Spelling into the game a little more. He's been targeted three times, doesn't really have any receptions. So let's see maybe if they can bring him into the game, if that'll change things around for him. First and 10 here for the flight. Pierce back to throw, floats it out to Hazard. He cuts up field and gets about seven yards. Check that, three yards. There's going to be seven yards left to go. That was a good little dump off. Uh, but, you know, we got 50 seconds left in the third this late in the game. You're going to have to kind of go more of a medium to deep pass plays this late in the game if you're going to have a chance at a comeback here. Four wideouts here in the formation for the flight. Pierce is back to throw. Fires far side. Open man, and it's caught, but he's short of the first down. Make it third and two. Ten of target there was Gary Walters. That was a good little target there. Uh, it was behind the receiver. He was able to make a great, you know, catch on it. So we'll see if the defense can hold up or if San Jose is going to get another first down. Third and two here for the fight. They need this one. Pass far side, and it's in and out of the hands of Doug Spelling. Fourth and two. I was a you know, it was one of those plays. Doug Spelling did what he could, and it just sometimes it doesn't happen for you, and you just got to have that short memory, Tyler, and move on to the next play. Sector 6 is the official apparel provider of the Simulation Football League, and replica jerseys are out now. Get your name on the back of your team's or your fan favorite team's jersey and visit team stores and libraries for purchase options through sector6apparel.com or through our website at www.simulationfl.net. Just hit the shop button. Turn of almost nothing there. Going to get them all the way up to the 30-yard line. And we have reached the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in chat. It's Birmingham Fuel 24, San Jose 7. Welcome back. It's the fourth quarter in this first contest here of the Simulation Football League, Minor League, Season 2. It's Birmingham versus San Jose as Squarebush takes the handoff, gets about nothing. In fact, he's going to be dropped for a loss. Yeah, that that was a great play. It looked like maybe the defensive end just came off the block and was waiting on Squarebush when he tried to round that corner and 
he was able to drop him for a loss. Second and 12 here. If you go to the split back formation with three wide receivers out in the package. Brown, pressure coming. Gets the ball away, but that's going to fall the turf. Good pressure there from Justin Wayne. Uh, Justin Wayne again, he was on the last play. So, I mean, he's somehow he's able to get through that line. He's showing why he's a good player. Sets up third and 12 here for, for the fuel. Wide wide receivers and square bush in the backfield. Brown, big step drop, seven steps. Hooks over the middle and into coverage and it's gonna fall the turf. King there on the coverage, good play from him. Yeah, it seemed like Devin King, you know, read the quarterback's eyes on that one. Knew where the play was gonna be and was there waiting on it, just couldn't bring in the pass. Fight really needed that stop there on fourth down. Oh, they most definitely did this late in the game there, Tyler. Birmingham looked to put it away here. Taylor Benjamin stands at his own 11 yard line. There it goes. Turn starts at about the 36 yard line, cuts up field for about a five yard return. The flight will start on their own 42 yard line. Now Tyler, this late in the game, I mean, do you go, you start going more with the deep pass and kind of get away from the run game or? It's just one of those questions you got to ask yourself as a coach. I feel like they're probably going to bring that pass game in more here. I think they most certainly have to start going to the passing game a little bit more just to get back into the game. As Pierce is back in the gun, looks to throw here, dumps it short there to Hazard. He'll be taken down for a loss. Good play there from the Birmingham Fuel D. Oh, most definitely. That was great coverage to cause Pierce to have to drop down to a Hazard there. And then to have, you know, the coverage there waiting on Hazard to drop him for a loss. Logger Law laid down the law there, taking Hazard down there in the backfield. Sets up second and 13 here for the flight as they go heavy set. Three running backs there in the backfield, and Pierce will look to throw. Dumps off to far side of Hazard, who's taken down again in the backfield. Man, Tyler, these short, short passes they're throwing that are going for no gains is not going to get them where they need to be. They're going to have to get away from that and start, you know, getting Devin King and – or not Devin King, sorry, Doug Spelling and Banfield and Todd into this game more. Four wide here for the flight. Pierce back to throw. Looks over the middle and that one's caught. At right about midfield, but nothing more. It's fourth and three upcoming. That was a good crossing pass. Now the question is, I mean, you know, do you go for it here on fourth down or do you go ahead and uh, punt it and try to, try to pin them deep? Looks like they're going to go for the punt. They're going to punt away. In my opinion, I think they have to go for it here in this situation. Even with nine, less than nine minutes left to go, I think they have to go for it. Oh, yes. Even, even if it's just for confidence building, you still go for it. Instead, the flight punted away. Vernon sets it about his own 12 and gets a good return of about five yards up to the 17-yard line. Well, Want more SFL content? Our Discord community has podcasts, articles, and highlights about the league, its teams, and its players. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at SimulationFL and visit our website at www.simulationfl.net for new more news, features, and information. First and 10 here for the fuel. Going to look near side is Brown, and it's Riley Quintero. Picks up about 12 and a first down. Wow, Quintero has been all over the field today. Uh, that should put him over the 200-yard mark for the day, and that, that'll that put Brown over the 300-yard mark today too. So it's been a great game between them two. Riley Quintero has really showed up to play today. Look for him to be going off the board first in the upcoming SFL draft. Oh, most definitely. And it seems like Birmingham's just going to keep their foot on the pedal for the rest of this game, too. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Brown drops back to pass again. 
looks over the middle and dr drops in and out of the hands of the tight end. Wow, you don't see that much from him. I mean, that was just one of those plays. Hit his hands, bounce back out. I'm not sure it didn't bounce out because of the hit that was put on him, though. That was a good hit. Second and 10 now for the fuel. They look to spread the field with five wide. Brown back to pass. Scans the field, fires far side, and it's going to be incomplete. Good coverage there from Josh Centeni. Yeah, I think the receiver heard uh, Josh and Tenney's feet behind him, and he kind of got a little nervous and missed that one, took his eyes off of it and let it fall. Great coverage by Josh there. The San Jose defense have really come to play here late, trying to get their team back in the game, forcing another third down, and the fuel need to convert here. Brown back to pass again. Scans the field. Deep down the middle, and that one is incomplete. Fourth down, a great hold here by the San Jose defense. Oh, that was a that was great coverage there. Able to knock that ball out. So they were able to stop them, bring up that fourth and ten. Let's see, you know, they get the ball back, what they can do with it after this. The flight. This is their opportunity here to get back in this game is mount to come back. Defense sends some pressure there on the pump, but the punt is away here. Turner starts at about his 31 and brings it all the way up to the 35-yard line. Tyler have been watching these punts, and they get closer and closer to getting blocked. I feel we might see one here pretty soon. Fly could definitely use a punt block, especially if they come down and score on this drive. Yeah, they got a long, they got a long road to go, though. They'll start at their own 35. Four wide receivers out in the formation. Hazard in the backfield. Pierce, five-step drop. Fires far side. That one's caught right at about midfield. And that's where he'll be taken down. That was a good pass by Pierce there to his uh, tight end. Or wide receiver, excuse me, Jeff. And that was a great great catch so hopefully this will be the start of their drive they can march down get some points on the board and get themselves back into this game today banfield has been quiet lately but there he gets a nice little pickup there as the flight come out with two wide receivers and two tight ends it's going to be run to hazard up the middle hazard has some good yardage there and he picks up seven. Oh, great blocking up front to be able to you know kick a hazard out through that opening in in the middle of the line great run by hazard though able to pick up those yards so the offensive line really opened up some holes there and he would have been gone if it hadn't been for the safety second and three now here for the flight Come out in the eye formation, two wide receivers, far side. Pierce will hand off to Hazard. Fights through traffic and picks up about four yards. Good, hard nose running there. And we have an injury there on the fuel. Finley James, the defensive tackle, is down. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it kind of looked like somebody may have hit the back of his leg when he went down. Good, hard nose running again there from the flight. Yeah, I'll set great. up with another... Another first down here, and this drive really looks promising. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to. I think they're sucking the defense in on these runs, and they're going to go over the top here pretty quick. Let's see here what the flight do. Pierce, back to pass. Fires deep down the middle, and that one is incomplete. Yeah, that was a great pass to the wide receiver, but even better, like, coverage on the defense there uh, the target on that play was Jeff Banfield so they're trying to get him more and more into this game Let's go. and they'll indeed need to work him more and more both him and D Doug Spelling need to need to get some more targets here I feel as yeah. Pierce goes back into the shotgun split he's split by two 
Running backs. Back to pass over the middle, and that falls incomplete. Jeff Banfield, the intended target there again. Yeah, again, I think that had to do with the coverage. Nothing on Jeff Banfield. I think he just heard the footsteps and just took his eyes off the ball. So great coverage on the defense there. Great route running by Banfield. Six and a half left to go here for in the game. Flight come out with four wide receivers. Pierce back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle, and that one's deflected. And that ball hits the turf, and it's fourth down here for the flight. They more than likely have to go for it. Oh, at this late in the game with, you know, under six and a half minutes left, they're going to have to go for it. And I'm not going to take any away from anything away from that last play. That was great coverage on the defense. They created, you know, like a little small hole, and Pierce tried to go through that hole, and it just didn't happen. Instead, the flight are going to come out in a punting formation. A little bit of a head scratcher there. Ball's going to land inside the 10, and this time the flight will down it inside the 10 yard line. Yeah, it looks like they were able to down it on the six yard line, so I guess instead of going for it on fourth, they're going to, as good as their defense has been playing here this half, they're just going to hope that, you know, they can create some points for them on the board. Fuel looking to salt this game away with six minutes, 15 seconds left to go. Stead Brown will be back to throw. Fires far side, caught. For a gain of about six yards. Yeah, that was a good uh, little out route pass by uh, Christian Brown there. So, again, he's just going to keep his foot on that gas pedal and lead his team down the field. He will come out in the running formation. In fact, they will run. They'll run with Randy Squarebush. Tries to cut up near side. Picks up about two. That was a great stand there by uh, number 41, Clem. They able to stop that run play. And that's Gary Clem, by the way. Uh, so he was able to stop him. See if he can hold him here now. Third and two here for the fuel. They'll go back to Squarebush. Fights through traffic up the middle and will pick up the first down. Great run by Square Bush on that play. Uh, the blocking was able to cut him loose, and he picked up the first down to keep the clock running. Tyler, at some point, though, pretty soon, San Jose is going to have to start thinking about those timeouts. It's getting to that, getting close to that time of the game. Fuel are going to spread the field and go empty set. Brown. Short drop over the middle, and that's deflected. Good coverage there from Gary Clem. Yeah, that'll be Gary Clem's uh, second pass deflection of the game. Great coverage by him. Second and 10 now upcoming here for the fuel. We're going to go heavy set again. Three running backs there in the backfield. It'll be a handoff to Square Bush. Tries to break the break a tackle, but it'll get tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Devin King coming through the line for another tackle. I mean, this man has been all over the field today. And he was able to blow that play up in the backfield. Third and twelve now for the fuel. The flight need to stop them here on third down. Brown back to pass, fires over the middle, and it's in and out of the hands of the intended target. Fourth down. Yeah, it just kind of hit him in the hands and bounced out. Uh, really, it, there's nothing you can do about that. That's just one of those plays that happen here in, in the game of football. So give San Jose another chance for points. Let's see if they can put some on the board. San Jose really needed that stop there on third down.
punts away. Return will start at about the 44-yard line. And the return takes it up about three yards all the way up to the San Jose 47. It just it hadn't been San Jose's day on offense, but, you know, Pierce is a good quarterback. I think, you know, he'll put it out of his mind. And I get the feeling this is going to be the drive where he, lead, he leads the team down and gets the seven points they've been looking for here. Got to give credit to the Birmingham defense. They have worked as a unit and really shut down the flight all game today. Oh, yeah, they, they're, they're going to be a tough defense this year. I can't wait to see how they do the rest of the season. Pierce back to throw, five-step drop, stands in the pocket, fires over the middle, and that was a dangerous pass. Incomplete pass, but nearly picked off. Yeah, I don't think Pierce, you know, saw the linebacker standing there, so he threw that pass just low enough for him to get his hands on it. Whoop. That might have been the defensive end there, Jeremiah oh, Ringwald. Was it? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me. No, no, it's all good. Birmingham really mixing up with their pass coverage. Pierce going to be back to throw here on second down as he fires far side, and it falls to the turf. Uh, Spelling might have heard the footsteps of about three fuel there. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. There was three guys just waiting for him to catch that ball, and I think he just got a little nervous and dropped it, so... Third and 10, upcoming now for the flight. If they want to have a shot in this game, they have to convert here. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, you know, got to be a pass at, within two yards of the first down marker. Six DBs out for Birmingham. You're going to fire over the middle, and that one's going to fall incomplete. And it sets up fourth and down. Now do San Jose go for, a, go, go for it here on fourth. Oh, you have to. I mean, you got less than four minutes to go. This is definitely fourth down territory, even though, you know, I think most teams would question whether or not, but we definitely have to go for it here. They will bring back out the offense. Four wide receivers. Pierce under center. He's back to throw. Over the middle. It's caught, but it's not enough for the first down. The Birmingham defense holds, and they take over on downs. That's a great way to hold as a defense, and there's Josh again. I mean, what can you say about this Birmingham, Birmingham Fuel linebacker core? They're a, they're a great, great team together. They have really come to play. Josh Farnsey has really been a leader on this defense. He's picking up seven tackles already, and now here come the Fuel offense. It'll be a handoff to Square Bush up the middle. Flights forward and picks up about four. That is some old school hard nosed football right there. Oh, most definitely. That was all Square Bush there. As he gets up, kind of holding his back a little bit, he just, you know, hit that hole, kept those legs moving, and was able to push, you know, three guys as far as he could. But it seems like they're going to be content to run the ball the rest of this, you know, three minutes we got. Do you think we see some more pressure trying to get in the backfield and stop him for a loss here for San Jose? I think they will. Yep. In fact, they do. Good defensive push there, and they stop square bush in the backfield. Oh, that was that was a great uh, play by, was that the defensive tackle number 97, I'm pretty sure? That was Buford Reese, yes. Third and nine here for Birmingham. The San Jose defense has tried their best, and they have done really good work here the entire game. But it hasn't been enough. Four, check that. Five wide receivers here for the fuel. They want to convert here on third down. Brown over the middle, and that is into coverage, and picked off! Going the other way is San Jose! And it'll be taken down at the 37-yard line. San Jose want to go back in it. That's that old uh, tip drill they talk about in football there. That was a free safety that was able to intercept it. Uh, you know, tip drill by Devin King. There, King is again in the play. Was able to tip it to the free safety. That was just an easy interception for him after that. Is that the spark that pushes San Jose forward? I, think, have... I think it will be. 
First and 10 for the Maroon, 37, 217 left to go here in the ball game. Pierce back to pass, scans the field, fires over the middle into triple coverage, and that's incomplete. That was a dangerous area to put it, to put that ball in, especially with, you know, with Josh standing right there. He's, uh, he's great in coverage as a linebacker, so. We'll see how uh, Pierce, young Pierce does coming back from that. Second and 10 here for the flight. Pierce, back to pass, scans the field, pressure coming, fires far side, and that's knocked away. Good coverage there from Roger Law. Oh, yeah, Law was just, you know, he, he read that, and I thought we were about to see back-to-back -back INTs on those plays right there. Third and 10. You would think third down and just about ball game here with how much time is remaining. Oh, yeah, most definitely. If they, get, if they don't get this first down, this is probably going to be the ball game. Pierce, back to pass, fires over the middle, and that's knocked away again. Fourth down upcoming here for San Jose. This is this is definitely a make it or break it right here for uh, Pierce and the San, Ho the San Jose flight offense. This is going to determine, you know, their their ball game and how they move on to the next week. So it's all or nothing here for the flight. Come they come out with three wide receivers and an offset eye in the backfield. Back to pass is Pierce over the far side, and he runs out of bounds. And that's a turnover and downs, and that is also the two-minute warning. Birmingham will take over with just under two minutes to go, and this one's pretty much wrapped up. Yeah, that was good coverage by Birmingham. Um, I just think the receiver lost, you know, where he was on the field. you got to be able to keep that mindset of where exactly you are and where the line of gain is. So, An interesting stat line here. Since their only TD in the, on their third drive, the flight have had eight punts and three turnovers. As now Birmingham looks to salt away the clock. Yeah, they're just going to run this clock down. Uh, we'll see if San Jose brings you know more pressure back into the backfield to try to maybe stop them and maybe they can get some points on the board for that confidence for next week. Just a reminder, following this game here on Twitch, we'll have the Season 1 SFLM champions, the Madison Lynx, taking on the Albuquerque Adams. That one should be a fun one. That right there was a good stop by the uh, San Jose defense. They brought that pressure in and was able to drop the uh, running back for a one-yard loss there. So there's that pressure I was just talking about. We'll see if they continue with that. And I was in talks with uh, Commissioner Cameron Irvine about, you know, how he's going to get from here to Albuquerque because I got to call that game too. Uh, there was talks of, you know, get, getting on a plane, getting on a train or something like that. And then it ultimately ended up me, you know, deciding, you know what, I'll just ride my unicycle down there. We'll, we'll just we'll take, we'll take a unicycle all the way down. <laughs> so if you're going to ride the unicycle, you probably should have left, you know, a little bit after the uh, halftime because that's going to be a long ride from San Jose to where you, where you headed for the next game. And missed the excellent performance by Riley Quintero? I don't think so. <laughs> Birmingham will put it away here to San Jose. That ball is going to fall to the 10, the 5, and will be stopped at the 4-yard line. Good play by the Birmingham Special Teams Unit. Oh, Laurel, Laura Horrell was injured on that punt so wish our best wishes to her hopefully we'll see her back next week in fact knowing uh the simulation football medicine i, I have a very strong feeling she will be back next week oh most as, definitely as now the san jose offense looking to build some confidence here with a minute 40 left to go here in the game pierce back to throw fires far side and that one is tipped up in the air by a couple of fuel 
and that one falls incomplete. Yeah, that was another, you know, target to uh, Doug Spelling. Just hadn't been the best game for him. He just needs to, you know, go back into the locker room after this, put this out of his mind, and move on to the next game. You just got to do that in the game of football. Short memory. And this drive is just more about building confidence more than anything. Uh, Almost. Uh. Here's Spider Mill. That one is caught by Spelling, and now the flight will go to the hurry-up offense. That was a great pass. Found that little open hole in the defense. That's what they needed to do. Here's back to throw again. We'll fire far side, but leads the receiver a little bit too far, and that one will be incomplete. Yeah, on those types of plays, you gotta you can't hold the ball that long. You gotta get it in your hands and then get it out of your hands to the receiver, or you're just gonna lead him right out of bounds. Minute 20 left to go here in this one. As the Birmingham Fuel have just been just dominant throughout this entire game. Oh, yeah. Birmingham has been all over at this game. It's, a, it's been a... Pass is caught there by Gary Walters. And he'll cut up field, but it'll be just short of the first down. Third and two upcoming here for San Jose. See, San Jose is showing those little clips of what they can do. It just hadn't been the game for them. I figure, you know, they'll go back in the locker room after this, put it all together. They'll be back next week, and they'll put on a show. I come out with three wide receivers here to try and convert on this first down. Pierce fires over the middle. That one's going to fall incomplete. Fourth down upcoming. Yeah, Pierce just kind of led Doug a little... Uh, a little too much that one he just couldn't get to it so they're gonna have to uh again it's another fourth down kind of got to go for it here even though you are on the wrong side of the field for this so fourth and two for san jose pierce changes the play at the line he's back to pass it's a short drop looks over the middle passes tip up in the air and that one falls incomplete and oh, that, that is just about time for the end of the ball game. We got to hear some singing here soon. Oh yeah, I, I hear kind of warming up, but that was that was a great coverage play right there by the uh, the defensive player number twenty nine. I mean, he read the play, was right there waiting on it. Fuel get to line up in the. Best formation ever, the victory formation, as they look to kneel down and run out of here with a victory. You know, I mean, it's been a good game for these, you know, young players here in the SFL minors. Worked out for some, didn't work out for others. You just, again, step back from this, clear your mind, next week's a new day. Season is still young. This is week one of nine here in the SFLM. And I'm sure all the players here will gain valuable game time. This is the first time they've actually played besides, you know, training camp and scrimmages. This is their first game experience. So a, a lot a lot of positives to take away from both sides of the football for both teams. Oh, most definitely. There's a lot of positives, you know, that you can build on from this week to next week. And we'll see how that goes for them. But there's been some great performances, too, by just individual players in this game. So, Not to mention, uh, it's been the Riley Quintero show. 200-plus uh, yards today is the most yards than all of... Uh, <laughs> check that. 200-plus yards today is more yards than all of San Jose's offense. He has really been the star today. Oh, yes, he has. Uh, and don't forget, you know, Christian Brown... That's 29 for 47, 313 yards. And then, you know, on the other side of the ball, you've had guys that have had great games, like, you know, Devin King, who was everywhere. You've got Gary Clem, another uh, gentleman on defense that was all over the place. And that's it. The Birmingham Fuel come into San Jose 
and take the victory 24 to 7 and it was all the Qu Qu christian brown and riley quintero show great game by those two so we'll see how they, uh, they do the rest of the year i'd have to imagine that birmingham has to feel loads of confidence going into next week and this should this should just be a really good starting point for them get off on the right foot Oh, it's a great way to start a young season, you know, 1-0. and oh, And, you know, San Jose is going to 0-1, oh so they're going to have to pick up what to do next. And not, not just to give the Birmingham offense credit, but the defense really played lights out today. Eric Duggan with two interceptions on the day. Oh, most definitely. The Birmingham defense showed up. <laughs> Let's see, Eric, you said, uh, yeah, Duggar had two interceptions. I mean, look at Josh. He had seven tackles. Their defense was all over the field when they needed to be. So next week, the Birmingham Field will be at home, and they will host the third expansion team of the season, the Salt Lake City Rustlers at home as the – Flight will go away to Annapolis. And indeed, Riley Quintero is your player of the game. What a performance from him. Wow, look at that. 20 yards per catch. I mean, that's an amazing stat line right there. And that's just about it for today's broadcast. For Chad... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. First week jitters, huh? All right. For Chad Nettles, Mark Lopez, and Benjamin Warner, and the Commissioner Cameron Irvine, I've been Tyler Falk. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen.